One surefire way of dealing with a drop stitch is to pull apart the entire project, throw it away, put your knitting needles and yarn away and forget about it for a couple months and then come back with a completely different project and pretend that nothing ever happened. But there's also another way. It's not the end of the world when you drop a stitch. And I'm gonna show you in this video how to salvage that little drop stitch or multiple stitches if you've dropped them. So here's a helpful, well, hopefully helpful, um, little drawing that I've done, little animation of what happens when you have a dropped stitch. So the stitch drops down um, a couple levels, let's just say three levels for this one. And because knitting is just a series of loops, all you have to do is pull one of those, pull that dropped stitch up with your needle and then pull the level, the little bar you see behind it, pull that through to create a new loop through there. So you're just creating a chain link up those different levels. So here I have a mistake that I've made. I've been knitting in the round on this beanie and I wasn't paying attention and I let one of these stitches drop and this stitch actually dropped for two whole rounds. So here is the stitch in question. It's this little thing that's hanging on for its dear life. And it's actually, it's about to drop through this next loop and, and keep falling if I let it go. Um, so anytime I see this happen, which thankfully is not too often, but it usually happens at least once during a project, I always kind of take a spare knitting needle and I just scoop it up as quickly as possible. And I try to give it a little bit of a tug just so I can have some leeway here. So for this one, if I kind of move this out of the way, you can see the next two levels of knitting that I need to link through this loop. So I have one right here and then this blue one right here that I have to pick up. So I first put my needle through the dropped loop. And it's gonna be hard to kind of show you, but I'm, what I'm gonna try to do is pull that gray bar up and through that loop, kind of as if you were crocheting. So then I'm gonna take my other fingers here, kind of hold that support here. And as long as I can get a little bit through, it's gonna be able to be a little easier. There we go. And I got it. And now I have just one more level to jump up. So it's this light blue bar now. So I'm gonna go through the loop like this and we're gonna scoop up the light blue and pull that through this loop. So go through, kind of bend like this and hook. This would actually be easier with a crochet hook because I think this actually is crocheting. But I'm gonna pull this light blue one and then use my fingers to kind of pull the loop wider. And I can pull the light blue through the gray, drop the gray, and then pull the light blue one tighter. And now I can just slip this back on my working needle and it's ready to be knit and it's picked back up. So that stitch was originally right here. It had fallen and it slipped through two different rows and it was just right here and now it looks pretty much there's not even any twists or anything like that these little black bits are just kind of because of the pattern of the yarn but it's gonna be ready to be knitted just like normal and you're not even gonna be able to notice that there was any issue <laughs> 